Everyone memorizes this rule in math class, but few people can explain why it's true. Let's uncover the real reason step by step. Let's start with something we know. 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 times 0 is 0. Notice how each time the second number goes down by 1, the product goes down by 3. Following that pattern, 3 times negative 1 must be negative 3, and 3 times negative 2 must be negative 6. Now let's flip the sign of the first number. Watch what happens. As we decrease the second factor by 1 each time, the product increases by 3. That means the next products must be positive. Negative 3 times negative 1 equals positive 3, and negative 3 times negative 2 equals positive 6. And that's not a trick. It's the only way for the pattern to stay consistent. Let's double check this with the distributive property. 0 equals negative 3 times 0, but 0 is also 1 plus negative 1. So expanding that gives us negative 3 plus something equals 0, and that something must be positive 3. So again, negative 3 times negative 1 equals a positive 3. So a negative times a negative must be positive, not because your teacher said so, but because math patterns and the distributive property demand it. Drop a like if this visual made the rule finally make sense. And as always, thanks for watching.